in the green. From Penn State, Greg Kersley. Jordan, I think you said it so well earlier in the week. There have been generational talents at this weight. Greg Kersley trying to get his first title in his senior year. And Lucas Davison knocked off the number two seed, Younger Bastida from Iowa State. Yesterday, the number three seed, Wyatt Hendrickson from Air Force, which is the most points that he had given up in three years. This is an impressive matchup here at Heavyweight to start. Yeah, think about some of these names over the last decade. Nick Wisdowski, Kyle Snyder, mm. Gable Steveson, Mason Paris. He finds himself in position to finally I'm have an opportunity right to get his hand raised on the I'm big in. stage. Look at the size of these boys. And give me the big boys to start. Give me the B for the match in match number one. Greg Kirk believe walked up those stairs and I felt the stage shake. He's a monster. And so is Lucas Davidson. What a match to start the night. I love the heavyweights. I mean, I could go home after this. And you, you were a heavyweight champion run. yourself. Yeah, I'm not, I, yeah, a few times. Thank you. Say it again. What, what I, uh, what, say it again. What I love about this matchup here is, is Greg Kirkfleet, he's been really dominant from the ties. He likes the hand fight. He likes to hold the center of the mat. Look at his positioning. He keeps his butt locked into the center and keeps Lucas Davidson on the edge. Jordan, you said he's gained weight and gotten bigger every single year, but we've been calling the matches from up on the concourse, sitting next to the octagon now. Now you see the size of Kirkfleet. He's massive, but Lucas Davison is not a small guy himself. And Lucas Davison last year was a Northwestern Wildcat yep. a year ago. Transferred in to the University of Michigan, was Clean unable to make it high. to the finals in his previous four tries, and now he finds himself in the finals. Look at that great single leg, switches off to the double leg. Great takedown for Greg Kirkley. But, but like you said, Jordan, you know, change. When things aren't going how you expect, you make green, change. Davidson made a change, and now he has an opportunity to become national Red champion. Green, Here's one roll. thing that I have noticed with the Penn State wrestlers. They're very good at riding once they get to the takedown, and Kirk Lee didn't put much effort into that. I would say it's very important for Davidson to get back to his feet right away and give himself an opportunity to go get a takedown. You cannot get rid of well, I think Greg conceded that one. You know, that comes with supreme confidence, knowing that you can let this guy up because I'm confident I can push the pace, I can get back to his legs and get another takedown. Well, he's 2-0 and o against him, right? He knows that he can beat him. He's beaten him before. But let's see what Coach Barmet, Coach Chirella, Coach Jackson and crew have come up with to try and change the result of this match. We have seen this time and time again in this tournament. Guys that have been on the losing end of matchups find ways to overcome. And how about Lucas Davidson's tournament? Beating Younger Bastida, yep. Wyatt Hendrickson, and finding himself here in a position to take down another giant. Confidence, here is Red man. Kirkfleet. Great tournament so far for, for Lucas. Gaining confidence every single time he steps out on the mat. But those lessons, those lessons he has to carry into this match. He cannot change what he did to put himself here. He's got to keep attacking like he did in his quarter and semifinal match. And you can tell that the emphasis has been on footwork, movement patterns. Notice how he's faking Davidson. He's staying in and out. Now he's controlling the center. Look at him planted on the NCAA logo. You, you hear it in the corner. When he starts to move his feet, you can hear the coaches say, stay with that action. But I mean, I mean, Kirk believes wow. it's his hands. It's his hands, bro. He's so good with his hands. He's big, heavy. He's big snapped. men aren't supposed to move like that, no. DC. No, they're not. Oh, that's a big escape right there, though, by Davison. Big escape. And that will take us to the end of the first period, just about 6-2 Kirkfleet, who won his first Big Ten title this year. And here's the beauty of that three-point takedown now. You know, typically last year, if you had gotten two takedowns and given up two escapes, you would only be ahead by two yes. points. Now he finds himself with a sizable lead ahead by four. Absolutely. He's in good position. Scoring change in the sport this year. Takedown going from two points to three points, which brought decisions down, lower scoring matches, and increased ones that were higher scoring. One of the things that you're seeing with the heavyweights, the bigger guys, they're not getting stuck underneath. What Kirk Fleet is doing, he's snapping ahead and going to the angle, but he's not getting underneath. He's keeping it to the side and it's keeping him from being underneath the bigger heavyweights. Well, that's what Gable did so well when Stevenson was the man, right? He was so good at snapping and getting to corners and angles that those guys would struggle with. And as you know, right, imitation, greatest form of flattery. 
And now you see more and more of the heavyweights wrestling with that type of action. Now Davison's down six to three. He gets a takedown, he's back in the match. But he's got to get more offense going. It ain't going to be him just kind of waiting and hand fighting. Kurt Felix shown that he can move him with his hands. And when he gets to a leg, he's been able to finish. Davison did what very few have been able to do is score double digit points against Wyatt Hendricks in the last two years, the NCAA's most dominant wrestler, and knocked him out of the championship bracket and wrestled all the way to the end of the quarterfinals against Younger Bastida, the champion of the Big 12, a takedown as time expired in the third. Nice, nice penetration, but look at the hips, the heavy yeah, hips, the sprawl right into the chest lock. There He's it got is. him in good position. He's catching that. Oh, catch him, release that. He goes and catches the ankle, releases it's, it's the head. It's Fleet here. He's got to shelf that left leg. That right he's got to that, shelf that right leg onto his thigh. He's looking to find some space for his head. He's going to try to exit with that right arm, get around the waist, switch off to a double, cut off and finish. He's running his hips to the right. He's got a hip ice. Davidson, nope, Davidson needed to hip ice if he wanted a chance. And that's a lot of pressure there. You know, he was working through that methodically, but nice and slow. Davidson was the guy in trouble there. So he didn't need to hurry. He just needed to be safe, make sure he worked through the position, and he finished the takedown six-point lead. Love the way Kirk Verlitt went from that front chest wrap down to that ankle. Catch the ankle, release the, release the head. Go to your score. Take your time. Once he got his body over to the opposite side, there was a very short window for Davidson to hit pipes. When he didn't, Greg was able to get that takedown, and he's well on his way to winning his first national championship. You got to feel confident going into the third period, up nine to three. But he's not going to rest here. Time to shut He's going to look for the escape, and he's going to continue to score. We're talking about setting records here. He's in position to get a major decision. Yes, he is. Raise that team point score for Penn State. Beautiful change over there by Greg Kirkley. Changing the angle on Davison. Getting to his hips, hip heights in the way, and getting back to his feet. Bonus points would come for Kirkfleet with a win by more than seven points. 90 seconds to go, and Davison has been taken down three times, escaped three times. And if I'm Davison here, you've got to show some sort of sense of urgency. I know yeah. it's, he's stumped. He's stumped. He really doesn't know what he can do here in order to get to some penetration of the legs and get to points, but he's got to throw caution to the wind and just try to create some action. Yes, he does. Davidson has always been a guy that has a sweep single to his opponent's left leg, but Kurt has been doing a good job of keeping that left leg back. Here in the corner yelling, commit to Davison. Because right now he's giving a lot of fakes. He's got to give a real commitment. But you know, the beauty in this, Jordan, with the three-point takedown and the four-point near fall, you're one move away always from being back in the match. But you got to throw everything at him. There you go, right there. Nice high press. Beautiful run down offense there by Kirk Fleet. Amazing counter offense by Greg Kirk Fleet. Let's see what he does. We got 25 seconds left. He can extend his lead even further. Maybe looking for a cut here. Time Watch to this. shut it down, Jordan. Hips back. Sprawl, run him down. Runs him right oh, to the corner. Him down. Great that. finish. Textbook technique. It's time to shut him down, Jordan. I mean, you in 13-3. You got 25 seconds. Let's go home. Let's take our championship. First of six Nittany Lions on the mat tonight. Four victories, even without bonus points. Is. Gets them the all-time team scoring record. Ten seconds to go as Davison mm -hmm. gets a shot on the edge. They go out of bounds. And a phenomenal seven minutes here from Greg Kirkley. And it is honestly the most impressive match, singular match, Greg Kirkley's had in this entire tournament. Now, he's wrestled well, but from start to finish, he was in control. And he looks like the heavyweight champion in the world. He looks like the heavyweight champion. Hey, he's the baddest dude. He's the baddest dude in college he's wrestling right now. This group. Hey, let me tell you something. Strong, fierce, technical, savvy, athletic. This guy's got it all. We just watched the baddest man in the room first. So we're going to crown a lot of champions. But you just got the baddest man walking right now. Greg Kirkvalik just got it done. Congratulations to Greg, his coaches, and his family. What a match.